David took a road trip tonight. He is in, I believe, Chapel Hill, North Carolina, where he went to college at UNC, and he is standing by to tell you about an exciting on-the-road trip um, of In the Kitchen with David tonight. Hi, honey. Hey, Jilly, we are in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, and we invited just about a thousand of our favorite foodies to come along and join us for the ride. We've got a great, great show planned for you tonight, and look at all the people that have shown up. All my foodies are here in Chapel Hill, North Carolina for a big two-hour edition of In the Kitchen with David, all part of our summer road trip celebrating great food in college towns. And the greatest college I know, of course, is the University of North Carolina here in Chapel Hill. I'm a proud graduate, 1987. I was class president. And all you have to do is wander around town to see the wonderful college feel here, the great food, the wonderful people, the incredible university. And we're going to give you a little taste of all of that tonight. In addition to all of that, we've got some of our favorite In the Kitchen with, Ge in the kitchen with David guests here who are here tonight. So it's going to be a really exciting show. Mary's all glammed up. She's over there getting her microphone on. She's got her hair up tonight because, let me just tell you, it's a little warm here in the southern part of heaven. We're uh, dealing with about 85 degree weather tonight. So it is a warm one, but we've, uh, that has not dampened our enthusiasm. Everybody is excited about a big, big show coming your way at 8 p.m. Eastern time. And my mom is here, and you're Aww. going to be able to see her during the show as well. So we're going to have a great time. In the meantime, we're going to check back in with my good friend Jill, who's back in our studio. It is a lovely late summer day here in Chapel Hill. Jill, we wish you were with us. Oh, and give your mom Sarah a big hug from me, David. Um, that's going to be a fun show coming up in just about 25 minutes, live in the kitchen with David um, from Chapel Hill, North Carolina. All right, we are going to talk next about this beautiful pumpkin and pomegranate fall collection. And this was a collection we debuted last year. Uh, and when we showed it to you, it was very, very popular. And one of the things that took us by surprise was how popular popular these candlesticks were. Can I just tell you, if you go right now, I'm so proud of this, everybody, because you have no idea how I had to beg, borrow, and steal with our buyers to convince them this was a good item for QVC. They weren't quite sure. They didn't know if you'd want just a candlestick. I will tell you, I hot glued the original version of all of this. I pulled the berries, I pulled the leaves. This is exactly what I wanted, um, and this is exactly what was executed. I wanted kind of a faded driftwood look. I wanted it to be heavy looking wood, but here's what I want you to know. So I fought hard for this. Um, our buyers weren't sure. I don't know, Jill, I don't know if they're gonna like it. Well, we'll bring in a little bit and see what happens. Sold out in 23 seconds and is so popular and so well received. Every single review on this candlestick is five stars. I'm just saying, read the reviews. You love it. You love the weight. You love how much we were able to give you in the front of this. And what I wanted, why I wanted to do this item for all of you was because I know how many gazillion Luminara candles I have in my home. So I've got tons of these, but nothing nice to put it on. And so the ability to take your Luminara candles, and we made sure that we made the top plate big enough for both Luminara, larger real candles if you wanted to use them, jar candles, candle impressions, now you have the ability to add height and texture and a sense of the season. These are only $25 if you buy one of the candlesticks. Now, as part of this collection, it's not just the candlestick. I don't want to like lose focus here because I also did a six foot garland and I'm just going to tuck this out here. And again, this garland was one of those items that I sort of hand built for all of you. So I wanted changing fall colors of leaves. I wanted wispy greenery. I wanted different tones of berries, and I wanted different shapes of pumpkins. I also have a bit of an obsession with pomegranate. I don't know why, I like saying the word, and I think they're a cool shape. And so we made sure that we put pomegranates and pumpkins and berries and greenery and leaves, real pine cones in here as well. So for your garland, that's going to be six feet long. That's longer than a lot of other garlands that you've seen. And we made sure it was a size that if you wanted to ring it around, you could even create a wreath type look if you wanted to. However, speaking of wreaths, we used it on the table. We used it, oh, we did the, oh, runaway pumpkin, come back. Well, we know he sold out, so we'll hide him. He was trying to run away, run away. 
my pumpkin. Um, we use the wreath over on the table, which I think is so pretty as a centerpiece. But here's why, I mean, this is the story, everybody. If I had to incorporate your home with Jill, harvest collection for all of you, this mantle, this wall is everything. This is everything I love to do for all of you. I love the idea of the beaded pumpkins. I don't think everything always has to have batteries light up and glow. And that's why I love the kind of frosted ice look of those beaded pumpkins. I love the texture that you get in that wreath. That wreath is 24 inches in diameter. And look how chock full it is. The pine cones, the berries, the leaves are all wispy. Here's the buyer's choice, which you know I have such a passion for. We've used the garland on the mantle and then our beautiful candlesticks. There's only 600 left of these candlesticks, everybody. There will not be another order this year. And here's what happened. So many of you, after they sold out, kept writing to me and saying, when are they coming back? When are they coming back? I want them for, ha for um, Thanksgiving. I want them for my collection. When are they coming back? They didn't come back until now. So now is your opportunity to get them, use them. I mean, you're gonna get these in a week's time and you can put them out right now, even if you just get one. Although most people on the customer five-star reviews, remember every review on those candlesticks is five stars. Every single person just about said, I wish I would have ordered one more. <laughs> um, so, and a lot of you, I have to say, by kind of checking out our fall assortment, a lot of you went ahead and bought this candlestick before it hit the air today. So get it while you can, just so you know, the candlestick itself is going to measure, I can't remember the exact height, give me a moment, um, about 12 and three quarters of an inch high, and it's about four and five eighths of an inch in diameter. One other thing too, if you want to, you don't have to, but if you want to, you can actually take that swag off the back. Now you're gonna have to twist it off. It might be a little bit of a challenge to get it off and you might have to use some pliers to twist it back on. But if you wanna twist it off and then just have a plain candlestick and use it for other times of year, you certainly can do that. Here's a little sneak, um, little message to all of you. I did a gold version for holiday. It'll be coming later on this season. So um, we did this one for your fall decorating. Oh, guess what? You know what else I forgot to do, Chunky? I wanted you to order me some of these. I missed out on them last year too. And now I just missed out on them again. All right, I'm glad everybody else is gonna have a beautiful harvest home. Now, put that back up there and let's talk about the wreath, okay? Because that coordinates back to this. And then don't forget, stay there. Keep looking at that, don't move. Remember our little centerpiece item, just having to put it out into the universe. Because if you did get the candlestick, we use the exact same ribbon, the exact same berries, the exact same textures in our little centerpiece pumpkin that we used on the candlestick. So if you got the candlestick last year, maybe you get our little centerpiece this year, maybe you make sure you get this centerpiece to go with the candlestick, or look how great that centerpiece also ties back to the wreath there, which I think is also so great. I feel like that wreath is one of the most lush and full that we've really put together for you for the fall season. If you love pumpkins, this is really the only pumpkin wreath I designed for fall this year um, with the pine cones, with the berries, with the leaves and the pomegranates. And remember that six foot garland, very special for me because usually those are done in four and five foot lengths and I really wanted to go longer. So we did it in six. Stay on the line if you're dialing in. Thanks for your love on those candlesticks, everybody. Um, and we have more things to tell you. Throughout the entire set, you're seeing these luminous